What's up everybody, this is Josh Rodriguez from TexasDadBlog.com. You guys know what day it is, it's Friday, and you know what that means, it's another Feel Good Friday vlog. Today, I'm in the car, headed home, it's Friday, feeling good, of course. One, it's Friday. Two, we're having my son's birthday tomorrow, and he's, uh, on next Wednesday, he's gonna be turning six. He's such a big boy, I'm so happy for him. I'm so proud of him. He's he's my big boy, my big Santiago. Um, but today, I'm also feeling good because I went to work out three times this week. I put it on Facebook, I held myself accountable, and I actually went and worked out during lunch like I said I was going to. That's one thing I wanna talk about, physical fitness. Now, I'm not the exact specimen of the perfect physique. But Samantha did find an old picture of me when I was I believe this was 6 years ago because she was a she was pregnant with Santiago at the time and since Santiago's turning 6, I assume he was she it was about 6 years ago. And this is me. Look at that guy. He's huge. At that point in my life, I believe I was about 275 to 285 pounds, maybe. I never really stepped on a scale. I knew I was overweight, but I never really knew it was that bad, that out of control. And now I always ask my wife, how come you didn't tell me I was so fat? And she says, well, I was gonna love, I'm gonna love you either way, whether you're fat, whether you're skinny, whether you know it, you're missing an arm it doesn't matter she's gonna love me she loves me for who I am not because I looked a certain way or because I, I dress a certain way or because I act a certain way she just loves me for me and, and then that's why she loved me and I kept I always ask her now I was like why didn't you tell me that I was I was that fat and she just said hey you know it never in my eyes you you were fine just the way you were it really didn't matter um, that being said, I never really, I mean, I've talked to a couple of people about, about my physical fitness and, and, and my transformation because now I'm down to about 200 pounds and at my lowest weight, when I weighed myself, I believe I weighed 185 pounds. Like I good, I lost a good 90 pounds, you know, that's like a, almost like a small child. And, um, now currently um, physical fitness is a huge part of my life and, and, and I just wanted to take a moment to talk about it because you know if my fat ass can do it anyone can do it and and I struggle and I'm not the, the, the number one person to be preaching you know physical fitness but there was there was one time that it's kind of hard to talk about because it, it's, it's kind of sad because my son was two at the time so from when that picture was taken to two years after he was born I was still eating terribly not working out even though I had already had my son I think I saw some pictures of his first birthday party a while back and man I was big so you know even two years after that picture was taken that I just showed you guys is when it really hit me that I was overweight and I needed to make a change in my life. That was the tipping point. That was really what brought it home for me. Samantha and I went out to a park. We took Santiago with us. And if you guys know Santiago and have you seen some of my other videos and pictures, he loves running. He loves taking, uh, he loves uh, competing in, in five, you know, kids K's and five K's and everything like that. He just loves running for some reason, he just loves it. Um, so what ended up happening was we go out to the park. My son said, let's run. I said, all right, fine, let's run. So we were running. I ran maybe a good 50, 60 feet and I was winded. And my son ran ahead of me and kept yelling, come on, dad, come on, dad. Keep running, let's go, let's run, let's play. At that point in my life, when I couldn't run with my son, when I couldn't play and interact, like a dad is supposed to 
that's when I decided to make a huge change in my life. At that point, at that juncture, right then and there, I said, all right, something's got to change. I did a ton of research, finally figured out what my problem was, and it was basically my diet, of course, just like almost every other American. Too many calories in, not enough calories out. I learned calories in versus calories out. I started eating at a caloric deficit. I started supplementing, um, you know, terrible, terrible food takeout with healthier options. Um, and of course, smaller portions because we're Mexicans, we love huge portions. We're Texans, we love huge portions. And um, I just I just really, really buckled down, settled down and tried to figure out what exactly I needed to do to lose some weight so I could be around for my son, so I could play with my son, so I didn't die at 40 years old and 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 not be around for my, my children. Um, but yeah, today, of course, it's Feel Good Friday. I'm feeling good because you know, I went to go work out finally. It was it has been a struggle since we got back from from Disney World. Um, and then Samantha hurt herself so she couldn't go work out this past week at all. So like the whole entire month after we got back from Disney World, we we're still kind of in the Disney hangover. We couldn't we couldn't really get back on track with our diet, with our uh, working out. We we're still a little tired. We we're you know, both Samantha and I are working. I'm going to school, so it was it would mean every excuse you could think of we thought of during the month of, of um, March and you know didn't work out at all but hey we're starting to get back on track we're feeling good because we are more than likely going to be getting back on track we're going to go do some cardio hopefully on Sunday my mom's on her way up right now so when she gets here I think my wife and I Samantha and I are going to be going on a little date night because she's going to stay at home with the kids um, so I'm feeling good about that also, but definitely I'm feeling good because I finally went to go work out. I posted some stuff about, um, you know, getting in some physical fitness while you're there at, uh, Disney World. If you want to check it out, it's on texasdadblog.com. And, uh, just like Bob said, you can't be Texas Dadblog without a car seat in the back. So, you know, I got that car seat right there. But other than that. There's one inspirational video that uh, Ruth, a friend of mine, she 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 posted on her, I think it was her Instagram page, and it's this gentleman uh, by the name of John Burke, and he was just, he just got out of the army, he's, he, his messages really hit home because they just talk about what, you know, it, what the realities of physical fitness and how they're so important and why they're so important. And, you know, he, he constantly says there's no shortcut. It's just diet, exercise, and hard work. And, and it really hits home because that's that's literally what I did. I didn't I didn't take I haven't taken any shortcuts. I haven't taken any magic pills. I haven't taken any type of supplements. No Herbalife. No, uh, you know, any type of those. No Slim Fast. No Jenny Craig. I know that may work for some people, but for me, what worked was you know just discipline hard work putting down the fork and figuring out what I needed to do to stay alive and and be healthy and, and be there for my kids um, but yeah his his whole motto is in the physical fitness game if his his motto is are you in the arena or are you a spectator and that really hit home because you know you want to be in a, in the arena you don't want to be the the outsider sitting sitting outside and watching everybody you know you know and not participating and and from what my take on it was that you know if you're in the arena you're in there you're getting it whether it's physical fitness whether it's your life whether it's your business whether it's at work it really doesn't matter but that quote right there hit home the second I heard it and it was just awesome and it really resonated with me and uh, if you want you can check him out just just search on Facebook John Burke B-U-R-K and his first video there, I mean, it has some foul language in it, but, you know, it really hits home. If you need some motivation, it really gets you. And also, if you want to check out uh, another guy that I look up to, um, 
you know, doing all this physical fitness stuff and, and working out and, and, you know, tips and tricks for physical fitness, um, go ahead and check out Bob Lopez. He's, uh, he runs 9to5guy.com and he's a, he's a blogger down in the valley who basically talks about, you know, trying to balance work, life, and, and physical fitness and everything in between. And it's pretty hard, man. And he knows the he knows he knows his stuff though. He's he's pretty good at it. Um, if you want to check him out, definitely check him out. But as of right now, feeling good. It's Friday. I hope y'all feel good. If you want to talk more, if you want to leave me a comment on why you're feeling good, just go ahead and leave a comment um, in the comments. I don't do this because I want the likes. I want the comments. I just want some sort of positivity out there I just want everyone to feel good it's Friday I mean you can feel good any day of the week but I just chose uh, Fridays to be designated as feel good Fridays if you're having a terrible week you know don't even think about it anymore it's the weekend start over again and have a have a good Friday so that's why I decided to start these feel good Friday videos a little positivity a little you know just to lighten up everything and discuss some stuff that I want to talk about I mean if you don't want to hear it you, I mean you don't have to of course but hey if it, if this message gets to someone gets to anyone and like it you know it lightens up someone's day or you know someone wants to make fun of me for doing it I mean hey go ahead if it, that's what makes you feel better and that's what that's what this video is for but um, other than that you know I hope you guys have a good Friday I know I'm gonna have a good Friday I hope you guys are feeling good if you're feeling good Go ahead and leave a comment below if you want. If not, that's fine. It's totally up to y'all. But I would like to thank you guys for listening and watching. I know this was a little bit longer than most of the other ones, but I'm driving. I still got a couple uh, couple minutes to, before I get home, so I'm not going to spend the entire time uh, driving and talking. But, you know, I hope you guys have a good day. I hope you guys have a good Friday.